Winner Bracket Semi-Final. Luminosity Gaming against Team YouTube. Overlord getting Zorak. Oh, that's scary. We have Shenelua, Slowbro, Ushifu, and Blissey for the last four Pokemon on the right side for Team YouTube. We have Fay playing Gudra. Then we have Gardevoir, Ninetales, Fui going back on the bus wall that he destroyed within the group stage in the last tournament. And Pika Div playing the Eldegoss. Heading into a game one right here. Luminosity against Team YouTube is going to be hopefully a great series. Overlord actually heading to Spot Path early on. It's going to join the Slowbro and Kiaro's top path with the Gen Z. And Fui on the bus where we have some double jungling going on the right side for now. Eldegoss is going to take over the red buff. I think he's going to go bot path because he doesn't want to be stuck against Eldegoss with red buff maybe. That's why he's bot path. Because if he, he can't stack up against this Eldegoss with red buff. Against Night Hat's quite difficult as well. We actually have Phil going for an invade right here. On to Rin, and of course a Kapfu doesn't have a big of a chance early game against a uh, Gudra. It's quite quite strong early game with that bubble, with the passive, and tackle. It's quite a takedown, you can even win this 1v2 if he just keeps auto attacking, keeps spitting up the bubble. You can actually win the 1v2 right here, he's gonna try to go for Rin. Can he take him down? Phil's going for it and Phil gets the first kill of the game. Going for Elo next now, and as I said, they don't have a chance. It's such a strong early game Pokemon from level 1 to level 3, but no Overlord's gonna join in, and he's level 5 already. He's gonna ruin Phil's stay, maybe. Looking for the slash, he's gonna hit it, and he's gonna get the final faint attack. Maybe out. No, he doesn't quite get it. But Phil is surely gonna fall right here any moment now. Next faint attack is gonna get it. There we go. They're taken down, but he got a KO. He wasted a lot of Rin's time, so was still quite quite worth it, doesn't matter what. But meanwhile, Team YouTube is on top path now. They're gonna get the Blissey, they're gonna get 15 points in 8. Fui trying to get those 22 points in, but he's gonna start burning now from the passive of Shenlu, but finally 22 points get dunked in. And Team YouTube with a very good start into this match already. Overlord looking maybe for something right here. Ooh, it's gonna spot an Edegos, but he's actually quite low on HP, so he can't quite fight the Edegos. Because of being aggressive right now. And Phil looking for level 5, but the big blow is gonna be in time. And Phil gets a nice level 5. Oh, Zorak is diving onto Nine Tails, and Overlord gets the 1v1 KO. Just barely, but he does get it. And on his way to level 7 now. He's for sure gonna play Shadow Claw, I assume at least. I don't think he's gonna play Cut. I think the only Cut player is Celestial from TTV, besides that every other player does go for Shadow Claw instead. Slash trying to make it back to top path, but this Eddie was just so annoying. Keeps on auto attacking. Yeah, so Shadow Claw going in, trying to go for Sam, but he might have tried a bit too hard, but he still gets the final faint to take out. And he's gonna get one KO'd, he does get taken on in the end. Oh my god, Zorak is such a just dumb character, is it not? Especially when a top player like Overlord plays it, it gets even more ridiculous. Nice stun there by Kiaro, so he's gonna save his support, returns a lot of damage as well, onto the Eldegoss and onto Buzzwall. But we already level 7, has the Smackdown available. Kiaros has to be very careful now. But Overlord is here. Shadow Claw Fane attack, Shadow Claw Fane attack, and taken down. Very easy. Just a normal day at the job for the Zorak. 14 points go in. Kiaros is gonna. Michael Phelps, 30 points in as well. And our Team YouTube is gonna start going for this Reggie Rock down bot path. What does Phil have? Does he have the points or Muddy Water? But Big Blow is gonna be there and secured by the side of Luminosity Gaming. Got no chance. Rin almost going down, but not quite. But in the end, AG, of course, with that big blow, is going to secure the Reggie quite easily. Now, Regilecki, half HP. Also getting taken down by Luminosity. Can Fui maybe steal it away? Nope. Find a faint attack. Executes the Regilecki. And uh, Overlord's for sure going to start diving this now as he can. But he's going to let it go in. Doesn't want to try to even defend that 40 points. We're going for Overlord eventually. Nothing we can do. He even's just going to go down right here to the faint attack. Overlord seeds the way to Berries as well to make it even worse. They're going to give those 40 points over to Rin actually. And Overlord's going to try to score 40 in the next score. But I don't think he can quite do it. Blizzard and Nine is going to be there in time. And uh, Rin actually, they're actually going to try to dive the score. They're going to take on Edegos with the Yoshifu Unite. Poor little support. Gets punched into the air. And taken down. Oh boy. One fifty-seven to sixty-eight points now, in favor of AG. But this game is still pretty, pretty close. But Overlord is already level eleven now. He's two levels above 
every single member of Team YouTube right now, so maybe it's not as close as I think it is. And so Overlord is diving in 1v4. Could this be too much? Could this be the mistake? Homespoke goes in. But another Shadow Claw goes back out, fails on the chase. Trying to go for Overlord. Dies in 1v4, almost gets a KO, gets out alive. Very close. Reggie spawning in 15 seconds on bot path. Both teams do want to go for it. Can they do so? Currently, Ren is still in mid path. He's uh, trying to build up his Unite move again. And he does just get it now. Bui and Ushifa are going to meet. But Baswell, I don't know if he can fight this. It's quite, quite difficult to fight these team fights. There's Blissy is going in there, diving in onto the back line into a huge cover. Now they're going to blow up Overlord and Blissy. They couldn't find knockouts with that Bliss assistance combo. And a wonderful Unite by Sam. Takes on both members. Now three people are down of Luminosity. They're going to go for Elo next. Four people down. What a huge guard of Unite move. They just didn't have enough damage to take down the guard. Or anyone. And now Team YouTube is on the four march. They're going to try to break this goal as well. But Kiaros is still around. Overlord's already back and he's angry now. After what just happened, he's probably very angry. He's going to try to go for Phil. Goes for the final feint attack. Takes down the Gudra. Looking for Nine Tits next. Going to dive back in. And Nine Tits doesn't have a chance. Oh, but one HP. But no, gets taken down by just a basic attack. Flying in from slow, bro. And Overlord is just angry. He's going to keep on diving in. He's going to jump in onto God of War. Oh, he is so mad right now. You can see it. He is the one to murder Team YouTube. After what just happened. Dives him back onto Edegos. Find a feint attack comes in. Takes him down this way. Unite move onto Buswell. Takes him down this way. Triple KO. And he's not done yet. He wants to go for more. Oh, he is mad. Don't make Overlord mad, guys. Oh, but... Oh, they made him mad again. And you can see on the cam, he's not happy about this. He is not happy. Oh. Now he wants more. Gets stuck on the wall. Can't quite make it over. Two hundred twenty-six to sixty-eight points. Yeah, and the biggest thing on the map is so sad, Sam. Level Luminosity Gaming is ahead. Oof. So yes, LG is getting some KOs. They are catching Overlord, but it's not showing. But Reggie Licky now getting taken. By LG. What a great game so far. Absolute great game. Very back and forth. Of course, Luminosity is looking like the superior team right now in this game. But Team YouTube also have their moments, and that last bottom team fight brought them back into the game as well. Vigileki is getting defended quite fast. Can't do all too much. And now Team Alumnosity is getting a position for this ray of spawn already. But there's another Reggie spawning in 14 seconds on bot path. And I think AG should be able to get it quite easily. Ren's gonna try to scout out if anyone is coming. Team YouTube actually might be fighting for this. There are five people moving down towards the bottom path. Were well, they actually going to fight it? They don't want LG to get this one. It's a Reggie Seal as well, and I can understand it. You don't want this to give this all to your opponents. They're going to die, Phil. Get Stofan by Overlord. Overlord does take half of his HP as well. Phil trying to heal back up, but this Reggie Seal is not going to happen now. Team YouTube just walking up. They just make sure they deny the Reggie Seal. They don't care about having it. They just care about LG not having it. So they play it smart. Just walk up. Be like, you guys, stop doing it. We're going to fight you. And uh, Dominosity can't keep on doing it. Phil trying to uh, just attack Rayquaza a bit, maybe making a G to make a move happen. Hey, team YouTube are the ones that have to do something at least. Warlord is trying to flank right here. And he can't dive in with the Abyss Assistance. Phil dropping very low HP as you see my foot quite early on. That's already big advantage now for Luminosity Gaming. Gudra loses the Unite move button and now Phil is getting dove on. Find a feint attack, takes him down, Gudra. Goodbye. Team YouTube has to run towards top path alone, but Ushifu is diving in 1v5. Can Rin do anything? Gets good damage and Rin gets taken down, but they're gonna unite move onto a slow bro with the uh, onto bus for me with the slow unite move. Oh, what saving him, but he's gonna maybe take him out more blitz assistance. It's not quite in time. And he gets blown to pieces by Garbo 90 as well. Oh my god. Bliss Bliss Blissy still has Unite move as well now. So it did get cancelled in the end, so Bliss Blissy can use it again. Didn't quite connect fully. Otherwise, Team YouTube probably could have said goodbye to this first game then, if they would have connected. They have to wait for Overlord to respawn now. Team YouTube are 5. Lumitosi is now surely but slowly back to 5 as well with Zorak joining back in using the jump pad now. Oh, we have Wii diving in now. Looking for the super power maybe onto Edo. Smackdown's being used. Oh, but the Night Move of Kiarush just completely murders Gudra. There's the Blister Systems going onto, onto Overlord. He's going to look for a Guard of War next. Next Feint Attack's going to be up soon. He's going to keep on diving in with the Shadow Claw. And there's the final Feint Attack. He's going to take down Guard of War. Three members down now for Team YouTube. 
Hui has to make a miracle happen. Smackdown, superpower, but no, Overlord just jumping around. Gets another KO. And that's gonna be the first game. Going over to AG. Team YouTube has no chance. Overlord's gonna score another 100 points. Rin is gonna score another 20 as well. And that's gonna be first game going to AG. Overlord show. Man, Overlord on LAN is scary. He just plays so well when it comes to LAN tournaments. Ooh, and Overlord gets again Zorok as a last pick. Unbelievable how he gets this Pokemon being last pick. Left side, we have Lapras, Trevenant, Venusaur, Ninetales, and Edegos for the side of Teen YouTube. And AG again, scary double support as well. Blissey and Hooper with Chandelure, Ushifu, and Azorak playing no defender Pokemon instead, playing a double support or double healing team comp. And just completely not going for defender Pokemon. I mean, there's nothing really left, right? Trevenant and Lapras are gone as well. Just decide to play without one instead. Let's go. Giving Overlord Zorak a second time after that first performance. We'll see if the YouTube has a better answer this time for it. They're gonna go for a probably padded dance theme with this game. I think Team YouTube is a padded dance team. Not sure if they're gonna go for a solar beam up against the, a double support team comp as well. It would be kind of weird. But with the Paladins, maybe the Venus was going to be uh, unkillable at some point. Who knows? <laughs> They're trying very hard to stack right here. But he's burning. He's burning. Phil is burning. The trees are going down. But he finally gets the score in. Overall, it's going to score five points. This time going for top path instead of bot path. And uh, Kia was now getting the free lasted right here. Looking at Phil is still around. And, uh, ooh, <laughs> Blissey slaps it away. Overall, dropping low HP right here. But a double... Fury swipes into the slash is not going to be enough. He tries to, but first KO for YouTube now on top path. They're going to take on Overlord. But it means he's only a 4, so it doesn't matter too much yet. He's getting close to 5. Doesn't matter what, and he's going to be there for the Ataria spawn. I think he's going to get 5 from this bottom right bunny. Oh, not quite. He's actually still level 4. Okay. But he's going to get 5 from these Atarias for sure. Luminosity actually retained one spot path right here. And there we go. Zorak's on level 5. Looking for the Paintag already. He's going to miss the Slash. Come with the Eject button of Wilpix. It's going to be enough. But nice rotation there by AG. They're going to just go bot path. And Teen YouTubes are going to do the same on top. And now Zorak is looking for the Invade. Onto the Mecentral area. He's going to get the Rep buff. I think before Sam can even make it there in time. And yes, gets away with the Rep buff. When Sam has to be super careful now. Overlord's going to one-shot the blue buff as well now. And that's a lot of experience lost for Team YouTube right now. They lose both buffs. And Overwatch is going to recall. Does he even have to recall? I don't think he has to, no. Going to take even the buy toys away, maybe. Yeah, it's quite, quite difficult. Oh, he's going to take down Edigos as well. I don't know how they can control the Zorak. I don't think they can. They have no tools to really deal with it. Against the double support as well, like, it's... I don't see how they're going to take Overlord down, especially with how he's playing today. He's very on point today. Looking for Edegos again. Find a faint attack. He's going to hit both Lapras and Edegos. Doing a bit of AoE damage right there. Dives in again onto uh, Lapras. And he just, <laughs> he just keeps on doing the same thing over and over again. Until eventually Edegos is going to fall. Slowly but surely. Level Sam though. Now reach for Sam. It's not going to be beam, right? Surely it's not going to be beam. He's waiting right now. It could be beam. He's not using Pedidens. He's waiting for the Atarius to spawn. But there's an eject button, Vic Blow going in. There's the Petted Dance as well, but they're going to take down one, they're going to take down two. But no, Sam gets a gear right now in the last second, and Team Mutants can actually turn this around. Wow. Sam literally lives on one HP. And Team YouTube gets two KOs in the end. AG only gets one. That was so close. That was a very nice Vic Blow eject button from Rin into the bush onto three members. But Team YouTube somehow was able to turn it around. I'm quite surprised they managed to do that. Overlord now back on top path. Dives back in. Oh, he's going to miss the slash. Or the Shadow Claw this time. Goes back in. He's going to score another four points. And Luminosity is already working on the strategy. I still can't count. Examos steal away. Looking for the combo. But no, the big blow of Rin is, uh, of course, good enough to secure the Reggie for Luminosity Gaming. Blissey's going to port towards top path now. And this Reggie Rock, uh, Reggie Leggy, is getting taken by Team YouTube. Oh, Lapras Knight's going to go in there looking for the wave, but they can't reactivate it. Only hitting Slash. Kiaros is looking for it, and he gets the steal. He jack buttons out. Gets away with absolute robbery. He's going to take down Trevenant as well, burning down trees. Oh my god. What a disaster for Team YouTube now. I think Sam is actually barely going to live again. He's going to take down Shifu, but also getting burned down. They have just no chance right now. 
And the Regilecki goes in. What a huge fight for Kiaros there. Overlord diving in. Triple KO for the Chandelure. They're going to score some more points as well. They're going to bring the goal closer down to almost zero. And they're going to get a huge overcap right here with 38 over. Now Lapras also going to go down. And this game just... Oh, that is so bad for Team YouTube. All because of one Regilecki steal with that laser of Chandelure. The game might just be over, honestly. Oh, well, Lord's getting caught, but the Bliss Assist is there going to dive back in onto Venusaur. He gets blown into pieces from the Bliss Assistance and the Faint Attack. And I think Overlord should be able to dive out quite easily as well, actually. Kautix on the side. They're going to take down maybe Kiaros at least. What else is going to go for Chandelure? Can he make it out alive somehow? He has Unite move. He's going to use it to try and run away. But no, he's going to get Wood by Phil. It's going to help out his team right there. But 220 points onto 67 in favor of LG. I predicted a GOTTV to win this tournament, and it's looking like those are going to be our winner bracket final teams right now. By the looks of it, unless Team YouTube can come back into this game, but with the way Luminosity's gaming is playing right now, it's going to be super, super difficult. Oh, Kaote getting knocked up, punched down. No chance against the Yoshifu. And Rinish is going to eject one towards top path and it's going to score 40 points for free as well. The gap is even bigger now. Upa and Bounce from on bot path. They're going to try to engage onto Fui right here. Oh, Wallachi well, quite low on HP. He has to run away from Lapras. Lapras with X speed and Unite moves going to try to follow onto Zorak. But uh, it's not going to be enough. Overlord has enough shields there from the goal. And uh, Oshifu porting to bot with the Hoopa and Bounce is going to secure the Reggie steal for the side of LG as well. The spot goal is still up. Still like a lot of points that can go, go in for LG right here as well. Overlord is just dashing around. He is having lots of fun in this game right now. He has Unite Move up. He's going to dive in with a Shadow Claw Unite Move. Locking up Venusaur, but Venusaur gets a huge heal from Eldegoss. But there's a huge laser by Kiaros. Phil is able to stop it finally. Big Blow being charged up. <laughs> Venusaur gets blown into pieces by the Big Blow. They're going to try and chase on as well. Now Trevin is burning down as well again. Oh, man. And now 40 more points go in. The air quality in Ohio is already bad enough, and yet Chandelure keeps on setting trees on fire. Just not okay. Gotta be honest right here. 308 points now to 98 for the side of AG. They can't really do anything this game so far. Rigid Lake, you know, getting taken next. And they're just looking incredible today. Team YouTube was actually able to beat LG twice in the May tournament, right? So... Team YouTube is a sure team that actually has a chance against LG. They took them down twice in the same tournament just three weeks ago. But right now LG looks like a different team on stage. 40 seconds to go for the Great Quasa to spawn. Level 14 off for Chandelure. Level 13 or Shifu. Level 13 Zorak. They have a huge experience lead on their carries. Rin is also close to 14. And I assume Zorak is also close to 14. 13 and a half. He's looking for the back cap already on Ray. Or is he just going to go for the 45 score before Ray? He's going to see the entire enemy team now. He's just going to go for the 45 points. Doesn't matter what. He's not going to wait for the double time. And Team YouTube is going to try to force this Reggie Rock now. But I don't think AG is going to care too much about it. Oh, the rocks are doing a lot of damage right now. Rin can maybe even see that the way he's trying. But yeah, they don't have to risk for it. They have such a huge lead. I think the Reggie Rock is not going to be the game decider right here. It's not a steal, but I mean, of course, more defense stats could also be a deciding factor of living Razor or combo. Yeah, I don't like the pain split either too much anymore. I feel like Horn Leech is much more effective, but it's not bad either. Both are fine. I don't know what Overlord's doing right now, but he's trying to maybe look for a flank. Team YouTube is starting up a Rayquaza. They have a level 13 Venus on now, so it's still quite, quite scary. Actually, Trevenant just engaging onto Kiaros right here. They're going to try to just fully go onto this uh, Chandelure, but can they reach him? But Beam is going to lock him up, so he's going to take the Hoopa unbound to safety right now. Fui is still on the chase. Is anyone down yet? Yeah, we already have one, one casualty. Nine hits is down. Blizzard assistance goes onto Zorak. They're going to try to go for Lapras next. Try to take him down. And uh, oh, Valor just diving in. Find a faint attack. He's going to take down Edegos into Unite move. Sam has to be the hero right now, but can he do it? Nah, Zorak just has too much mobility. Runs back to the bottom goal. He's going to score more points as well. But the overheat final damage of Kiaros takes down the Venusaur as well. 
One minute to go. LG starting up this rain. It's already down. And LG with a very clean 2 0. And at this point, you're going to wonder if they could, should really give Zorak over to Overlord. I don't know if they should. Oh, wait, are they allowed to sur- Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're not allowed to surrender. Uh-oh. Let's hope they don't get into trouble for surrender Surrender voting. I hope they don't, because it's kind of weird, but... Yeah, he's going to take it 2-0. They're going to move into the winner final, and they're going to face TTV next. TTV against Lunacy Gaming is going to be the first grand final team decider.